Y'all ready for this video? We are about to talk about loose skin. Some of y'all have been commenting below my videos asking me, well, what do you do, Sheik, about that loose skin? Number one, I want to address this. Don't be in so much of a rush to lose so quickly, okay? The way I lost in the beginning with the Sema, it was sort of a slow loss, at least to me, losing 40 pounds in six months compared to, you know, some people I would hear share their numbers. And that's the important thing about not comparing yourself to other people and their journeys like in that way. Um, but if you lose too rapidly, the more loose skin you're going to have to fight with. You heard me? Yeah, seriously, though. Take your time. It's not a race to the finish line. Take your time. You got to get that body right. Lose the weight and do your exercise to sculpt it. Yeah. So, with that being said, I'm going to talk about water. I drank my water. Faithfully now. I didn't take it as seriously before, but I drink my water. Now I stay hydrated. Your lips should not be dry, number one. But if you are taking your fiber like you're supposed to, and in order to keep things flowing, you got to be drinking your water. But that's going to help with loose skin as well as taking like a collagen supplement. I was taking a collagen supplement alone, but I started taking the um, Hairfinity drink supplement I was taking that um, and that's for hair nails and skin but it has collagen in it and so when I finish that up I will definitely probably just go back to taking my collagen that comes in a bottle and you can just get collagen from Amazon if y'all want to see a particular brand or something like that let me know but that collagen is going to help with the elasticity of your skin and it's going to help it be all plump and soft and juicy. Yeah, that's what you want. So you want skin like a baby. And so that is going to help your skin bounce back. But you also need to what? Something I know some of y'all don't want to do. Work out, right? Yes, you have to move your body, okay? When you done lost a good 30, 40 pounds, it's time. Shit, it is time. To get in some cardio, y'all see me, I'll be on my walking pad doing a little bit of cardio. And I do recommend like if you have any like mobility things or uh, any type of um, issues like autoimmune disease or muscle weakness or anything that um, limits your mobility, then make sure you have a full size treadmill with the rails because you want to be safe. Safety comes first. And um, so my walking pad does not have that, but I do prefer to be on my full size treadmill more often than not because it has the rails and everything. And I can go at whatever speed that I want to. It has a lot more settings on it. And uh, yeah, it definitely costs more too. But if you can afford a good foldable treadmill, if you don't have a lot of space in your place, get something like that. I recommend you do that where you can store it underneath your furniture or something or in a closet. Definitely get you one. It's worth it. And y'all, I love my vibration plate because even on days where, um, on days where MG is too bad, I could be in the bed for days at a time, just not even barely able to lift an arm. But on days where I feel like, okay, I could do a little something, but I can't push myself too much, getting on my vibration plate makes every bit of difference because I'm going to tell you now, nah, when you get off that thing, when you get off the vibration plate, you are going to feel it. You are going to be sore. You are going to feel like you got a full body workout at the gym. And I love that thing. Um, I have a video where I shared which vibration plate I have. I love it. It is the one by Life Pro. I absolutely love it. But I have done several videos on that. If y'all need the link again, y'all let me know if y'all need these links and stuff. And I will drop them down below for y'all put them in the description and so forth so let your girl know if you need it all right so 
I would recommend a vibration plate. And then that, um, it keeps you moving. But getting on there on times where I stalled, like when I had a stall and I actually wasn't moving on the scale, making sure I drank that water, taking my supplements, and even like those greens, you know, taking my greens, I would mix it with like a little orange juice or whatnot, but just make sure I still drink enough water. But getting on that vibration plate, it would just, that stall would finally break. So I started to notice like a pattern with that. And so when something works, what do you do? You keep doing it, right? Yeah. Yeah, sugars. So um, exercise, exercise, exercise. Only what you can handle. Don't overexert yourself. Mm -mm, that's not good uh, uh, uh. so yeah um and then your squats things that you actually can do without harming yourself you know so i mean i've always i've always had a lot back here but um you know things like squats that does help me keep my patty cake patty cake keep the cake caking if you know what i mean <laughs> uh yeah so uh, I'm trying to think what else do I have to tell y'all in terms of loose skin. Ooh, something really important, y'all. Oh, I just got so hyped. <laughs> so, waist trainer. You want that skin to be elastic and pop back in place by taking your collagen supplements and drinking your water, drinking that good water, the H2O. But you want to... Wear a waist trainer. I don't wear the ones with bones, you know, the steel bones all in them to wear. It's like a corset, a steel bone corset. I don't wear those because, you know, those can do harm to your organs and move your organs around. We ain't trying to do all that. Mm -hmm. But different strokes for different folks. So that's what you do. But let me tell you something. I didn't wear a waist trainer. I started years ago and I was wearing a 2X. I didn't wash myself. Go out of a 2X into an extra large, then down to a large, and now a medium, a freaking medium, a freaking medium, y'all. So um, they do something, but I like it because um, this one is not as like sturdy as some of them, but like I feel like my back, it sits up better because I am kind of sway back a little bit, but it does help um, my posture. But it holds everything in. And I like to wear the ones like this because they're comfortable. I can sit around in it, lay around in it. But it just pulls everything together. And it like train, it's like training your body to be a certain way. So moving, that's why that moving around that you're going to be doing is so good. And with your waist trainer on. Because that will encourage the, the shape. It will help encourage the shape. Because you cannot, um, you obviously cannot pick spots that you want. <laughs> And just be like, I want to shrink this spot or whatever like that. You can work on it. But wearing shapewear can kind of help encourage the shape to go in that direction if you're moving your body. And in my personal experience, I'm only talking from personal experience because it's worked for me for so long. And I've just watched it work. So, yeah, y'all. Um, I do have a little bit of loose skin here. So it's time to start those dumbbells and weights. I have a 50 pound set of dumbbells. I leave that to my son, my oldest son. I don't use that. But yeah, um, I love my uh, kettlebell. It's 20 pounds. I love that. Um, and I'll show you all some of my workout equipment. And I got this ab workout thing from Amazon. I'm about to show you all. So stay tuned for that. Because we're about to get this stomach together. We're about to get this tummy right. You heard me. But y'all follow me. Share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Yeah, well, follow me on social media. Your girl, she loves you so much. Do something good for somebody. Don't give up on your journey. You got this. And yeah, y'all, it's time to get this skin together. We're trying to get fine. Summertime is almost here. But it ain't too late. You heard me. All right. Later. Signing off.